welcome to the Watford Weekend Preview Show. This week's programme comes from Into Shopping Centre in Watford where they're turning on the Christmas lights this evening. Here's what's coming up this week. We'll hear from head coach Felicia Kanovic, strikers Troy Deeney and Mattia Vidra and some Hornets fans here at Into Watford. And we'll be bringing you the sights and sounds as the Watford players help launch Christmas here at Into Shopping Centre in Watford. As you can see, the players are working hard in the signing session and we'll be hearing more from them later. But first, let's hear about the hard work that's been going on at the training ground over the international break from head coach Slavisha Jokanovic. Really, back of us is uh, this international break. We, we will find space for, uh, for working or for uh, try to make some reaction after uh, two games, but we don't... Uh, made especially very really good uh, performance and uh, I expect we, we, f uh, we will going to have uh, more clear idea what is uh, front, of, front of us and uh, what we're going to do in Saturday game. It's a uh, it's nice game, we will going to be a nice game for, for us, it's, uh, we, we're going to be fighting against the top team in the, in the championship and it's good chance for uh, for us to uh, change uh, our situation what we what we will has last uh, last two games what's your focus been on during these last two weeks here at the training ground it's like what we are beginning uh, and what we are uh, talking uh, many days uh, before it's more control and more uh, more uh, football uh, last games where we try catch this control will be dangerous and we be uh, we, be, we, we, we will play like uh, like good team but many minutes in the in the last uh, game we decide uh, try find some uh, different fair kick the kick the ball with uh, we lost the the, the, the the control in many in many minutes and this is very very dangerous uh, danger for us if we if we if we start to remember uh, what we are doing in the in the last uh, last two games, we we must have sensation like uh, we are very close of the of the of the victory, but we we lost two two, two games in last uh, ten minutes of the of the game. Now we may, we must to be a bit more intensity, with uh, with more concentration. I I believe my. My team is ready. It's the league leaders you've already mentioned, Derby, on Saturday. Um, do you have to rise to the challenge? And, and these are the type of games that if you want to be in the, the top two, top six, come the end of the season, that you need to be successful, you need to beat these teams? Yes, it's, uh, it's really, we at the moment don't uh, win so many, so many games against top team in the, in the, in the championship. It's great chance for us. Uh, gonna be in, uh, gonna be in, uh, in Saturday, uh, Saturday night, and it's, uh, it's a good uh, chance for us find another time uh, way what uh, what we are interested in fi uh, finding. Uh, uh, I repeat, I, I expect, uh, and I believe we are uh, we are 100% ready for working very well and for. Uh, we're gonna play against in our stadium against uh, our supporters, and it's uh, good news. Uh, good news for, for for us. I expect we're gonna we're gonna continue it, especially with uh, with good games in, in in our stadium. And there'll be a full commentary on Hornets player from just before three o'clock on Saturday. It's a great evening here, and lots of fans have come down to see the players in the signing session. So let's hear from a few of them now. We've done pretty good. We just have to stay consistent. Yeah. yeah. You think that you could get promotion this season? Yeah, we should definitely get to, uh, promotion if we keep on trying. Favourite game so far this year? Uh, probably no one. Yeah, it's getting good, yeah. It's nice to meet them. Favourite players? Are they all here? Uh, yeah, yeah, we like Dini. Yeah. We like Dini, aren't we? And Vidra. I want, um, I want, um, how's the Hornet? I mean, no. He needs, he needs a new nose, doesn't he? It fell off last time, didn't it? We have to bandage it. So Saturday against Derby. 
League leaders, how do you think that's going to go? Uh, as long as we don't make any mistakes, we should be good. Then. Prediction? Uh, be a close game, so about 3-2. What do you think about Watford's chances this season? What do you think about the team? Good. Good team, yeah? Do you think they can get in the Premier League? Yeah. They can, yeah? Yeah. Are we going to beat Derby on Saturday? Uh, maybe like 2-1. I reckon they'll win it 2-1. If you could if you could wish for one thing for Christmas, for what would it be? Top of the table. Top of the table? Yeah. Top of the table. Top of the table. Uh, Goblin. Uh, all my automatic promotion guarantees. So the league leaders are in town on Saturday and it'll be a clash between two of the top scoring teams in the league. So let's get some more facts and figures now ahead of Saturday's game with the Watford Weekend stat pack. Saturday will be the 39th league meeting between the Hornets and the Rams. Derby have won 15 to Watford's 11 of the previous encounters. The men from the iPro Stadium have won four of the last six meetings and did the double over the Hornets last season. Derby have won on two of their last three visits to Vicarage Road. There hasn't been a draw between the clubs in any of the last 12 meetings since 2006, but there are usually goals. There have been 20 in the last four matches. The Hornets come into the game on the back of two straight defeats. Although they remain unbeaten at home in the league this season, it's just one defeat in the last 18 league games at Vicarage Road going back to early January. Watford and Derby are the joint top scorers at home in the Championship and the Hornets have scored in each of their last 18 league games at home. Derby have won their last two games and sit top of the table. They are the joint top scorers and have won four of their last five away games. Steve McLaren's side have already kept eight clean sheets this season. The referee on Saturday will be Keith Stroud from Hampshire, who's issued 80 yellow and two red cards in his 16 games so far this season. He sent off Alex Merkel against Reading on his last visit to Vicarage Road. And there'll be full highlights from Saturday's clash against the Rams here on Hornet Player. One man who will be aiming high as always and looking to get on that score sheet is Matthew Mitchell. The last year everyone called me back so I am here and, uh, and I want to promote it with uh, Watford to come in. And a big step for that would be beating Derby on Saturday, the league leaders. Uh, it's going to be a tough game on Saturday. Yeah, it's a very hard game, but I think if we play our football, I mean, uh, like, uh, play on the floor, we can beat everyone, so... I don't think so. they are better than us, but we never know. Um, I guess after the last two games, the, the, the two losses at uh, Birmingham and Ipswich, um, did the break come at a good time? I think uh, this break uh, is, is good for us, because we clear uh, head and... Uh, now we can continue like a uh, few, few days uh, ago and we have to win. So the... and, and it's these types of games, isn't it? Against, against the teams at the top as well, they're, they're the teams that we really got to start beating in this one. I think if we play against Derby because they want to play football, we want to play football, so it's much better for us. If you, if you see the game against uh, Birmingham, they played just long ball and this is not a uh, team. Uh, Control against us, so I think against uh, Derby is. Uh, I don't want to say more easy, but uh, they want to play, and uh, it's much better for us. Make it a better football match, and, and that help, that's that helps you the way you want to play. I think so. We can play football, and uh, they want to play. It's uh, good for fans, good for everyone. The manager has spoken a lot about. Um, control and controlling matches. Is that something you feel as a team that you need to do better? Uh, I saw the game uh, against Ipswich and we played just long ball and uh, this is not uh, good for uh, us. So if we, if we play at home, we, we keep the ball, we have uh, more position than uh, other teams. So this is important for us and then we can be the one. And the, the slightly perhaps different system um, that you're playing up front with perhaps Troy at the top and you and Fernando maybe just behind. Does that does that help you and help you create more, more chances? Uh, now I have uh, more spaces. I can be side or inside. It doesn't matter. But uh, we have a lot of quality front and uh, we scored a lot of goals. So it's good for us. Well, we've already spoken to some fans here tonight, but now let's hear from one special young Hornet, who is Watford's local hero 2014, Rio Wolf. Good Watford's local hero. 2014, how exciting is that? Very exciting. 
Very, very proud mum and dad, I guess. Yeah, very proud. Yeah, very proud of our son. Yeah, he's done. He's achieved a lot, and uh, thoroughly deserving of his award. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. He's only six. And he's six, only six. Yeah, he's still, yeah. yeah, he's running. He's playing football. He loves playing football. He loves watching football. I am uncharacteristically lost for words. <laughs> As Trevor will tell you, every episode doesn't happen on time, but tonight I'm just, just filled with joy and pride. Yeah. And, and, all so the, and all these people voted for them as well. Yeah, no, you know, we're so grateful for the support that we have received uh, from the local community in Watford. Um, but and from his fans around the world, he's got a bit of a following in Brazil since we went there um, last year. So it's guests of the Rio 2016 organising community and the Brazilian Paralympic Committee. So we have people voting for him in Brazil and actually in America as well. Even as far as New Zealand, so and obviously locally and throughout the UK and, uh, and Europe, and we just want to say thank you so much for everyone for voting for Rio. It means so much to him, we can say. And uh, he's just been so excited, and he's just wanted to meet the players and press that red button. He's been counting down since we told him the fantastic news that he's done. So thank you to everyone who voted for Rio. And for anything, what do you want to say? You want to say thank you. Thank you everyone for voting for me. Finally, let's hear from the man that's led the Watford contingent here tonight, Captain Troy D. Yeah, obviously it's, uh, it's good fun. Obviously you get to interact with people, obviously they're close. But people like this get a bit excited, so that's good fun. Obviously we really enjoyed ourselves. Obviously good to that for everybody as well, so it's a good fun. Nice community event, which is something we do well as a football club, but nice to give something back tonight as well. Yeah, definitely something that the club prides itself on, and uh, as players we've all embraced it, obviously. We could kick up a bus and not come here, but everyone's here, everyone's showing the faces. And we're allowed to board the families, which is good as well. So, you know, we're showing that we want to be part of it as well. So, hopefully, everyone gets a benefit. Talking about families at Christmas, it's been a busy time and an exciting time for you as well. So, Christmas is going to be a little bit extra special in the Dini household this year. Uh, yeah, if we get some time off, it would be nice, but uh, obviously, we'll be working at, at Christmas Day, so it's going to change. So, just got to do what you got to do. I mean, yeah, obviously, the family's. Uh, been extended now by one, so we're happy, but still works involved in it. We've got another, we've got another little visitor with us tonight. Um, let's quickly turn our attention to the weekend. Um, league leaders in town, an important game to get back to winning ways after the after this international break. Yeah, definitely. I think um, we had a bad week leading up, but we're still in there, and uh, we, still, we all know we haven't played to our potential yet. So that's exciting for us. Obviously, it's a bit frustrating as well because we want to be, you know gear and click it but if we click now it could be it could be worthwhile but we've got a tough six weeks coming up now until January time. No international break so no excuses for people to uh, not really be giving 110% and we've got a great squad. Now it's time to start uh stop talking and start showing up right now. You mentioned it's important this period now up until the new year. If you can still be in touch in that pack going into the new year, it's gonna be a very good position to be in, isn't it? Yeah definitely I think um, We've got a lot of the teams that are in and around us and big, big teams as well, so shouldn't be any uh, motivational issues in terms of getting up for the game. Obviously, uh, I think it's Derby, followed by Cardiff, yeah, Cardiff, Fulham, teams like that, Wolves coming up. So, you know, big, big clubs, so no, it's, uh, no excuses for not being up for the games. A few on Sky as well, which is even better. Got to let you go because you've got a big job in a minute, haven't you? Because I think yeah, your finger is going to be quite going to be put to use with that. The Watford's local hero, you're helping him turn the lights on it. Yeah, obviously, it's a massive one. And the young lad that we're about to meet as well. So, from what the story I've heard is very inspirational. So, you know, hopefully, he enjoys himself. And uh, I've got some lads from uh, X Factor. Yeah. Man that was on X Factor, yeah. yeah. So, I don't get to watch TV on a Saturday night. So, yeah. Say hello with them, and they remember the Leicester goal, so it's nice for them to uh, meet them guys. But I think everybody's having a good time, and that's what it's all about. The other day, um, we are working, we are being serious, but if we're not enjoying life, then what's the point doing it? And don't forget, John will have all the reaction from the Hornets camp with you in the post match review show on Sunday. As for tonight, there's just one thing left to do.